Okay, it just hit seven. I'm going in. Let's explore all that Thimbleweed Park has to offer. I've waited for this for a long time. So here we go. Casual mode. If you're new to adventure games, you're looking for a quicker experience because life is exciting and there is so much to do, free tutorial included. Hard mode. If you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there is nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games. Well, hell yeah, we're going hard mode. Okay. Interact with object. So text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. So look at keyguard, yep. Yeah. Okay. Interact with characters and objects here. Yep. Yeah. Give commands to your characters by selecting verbs. Yeah, it's so weird to have the verb table back. Oh, I don't remember the last game I genuinely played that had a verb table. Um, items your character has picked up are here. Okay. And simple commands start with a verb and end with an object or character. Yes, we know English. We can make sentences. Complex commands start with a verb, then an object, and end with another object or character. Okay. So we use keycard indoor. To review or see advanced interaction tips, select options and help. Okay. So excited. 1987. I wasn't even born. some water quick before it starts. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here playing this now. Ow, I was shot. Part one, the meeting. I kind of don't want to say anything in case I spoil some dialogue. he's drinking. Looks like. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. And we're in with our stereotypical German. Okay, so here we go. Let's open the gate and walk through. And talk to Willie. I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? I have to go. I'm sorry. I could not offer you a drink. Okay. I'm asking the first one first. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Um, are you sure you have not seen anyone? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruin my life. Wake up, sir. He's not getting through, is he? I have to go. Sleep well. We're not getting through to him. Come on. Let's go explore. Okay. So, let's pick up this rock. Aha, we did. We did something. Our first commander successfully... I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. Uh, okay, so let's look at the note. So, Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Go to the river down by the trestle tail bridge. Turn off the light above the trestle trail so I know you have arrived. Okay, meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you are not followed. So we need to turn the light off. Okay. And this the light, yes, it looks like it. And what do we do with it? Use the light? I do not see a way to turn it off. Oh, well. 
We might have to use the rock then. Use rock on light. There! Yeah. I've completed step three of the note. Now. We did. Oops, sorry. I'm getting off. Okay, meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you're not followed. Let's go then. <laughs> this is so awesome. The art style is beautiful. It's amazing. They don't make enough games like this anymore. Okay. Ow. Oh, okay. So that's how it's going down. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Or how much it would change us all. Part two, the body. So we're not playing Mr. German Traveller then. I knew that already though. It's Dana Scully and Fox Mulder. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look. I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> body starting to pixelate. <laughs> this is going to be a long night. <laughs> I love that they're called Ray and Reyes. You know, because that won't be confusing. So what do we have? Polaroid camera. And we can switch to him if we need to. Okay, so what do we do? We'll have a look at the corpse. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the <laughs> nose and neck. Pixelation. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Okay, so we've got his key card. I can't remember what else he had on him now. Um, but obviously things have been removed. Okay. So let's look at the notebook. Appears to be a small hole in the back of the head, origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, more like a punch from a sharp. Yeah, he was definitely stabbed. I saw that. His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. Yes, he's German, I can tell you that. Okay. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Okay. Okay. Going to town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrived at the body. I should do just fine as my cover. I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh great, some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the Bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. Oh, so was she involved? Interesting. Okay, what does she say when she looks at the court? There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot <laughs> with accompanying sound effect. It definitely did, didn't it? Okay. Talk to the corpse. Can I? No! Oh. Okay. Oh. There's the bottle there. Look, I just saw it from the drunk. It's already open. There's no cap on it. Okay. Well, let's pick it up. There we go. It's an empty whiskey bottle. 
It Definitely is. not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. Okay, can we get her to notice that the light smashed? The bulbs broken. We can. She doesn't really care though. Okay. Is the guy up here? What was that? What was that? My cursor changed. What? Walk to speck of dust. Where's it gone now? It's a speck of dust. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he's not here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's go this way then. We know that there's something happened over here. Something odd. It's covered by the underbrush. But it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Chainsaw of disappointment. Well, let's pick up the chainsaw of disappointment. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. Hmm. Okay. Come on, Agent Ray. What else is out here? Okay, so there's a drag mark. Let's get something for the hmm. drag mark. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. In that case, he wasn't stabbed here. Okay. He was stabbed in the water then. Interesting. Because obviously it, was, it happened so quick we didn't see. Okay. Let's see. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. What the? Sounds like someone in the sewer is playing the violin. <laughs> I love the fourth wall breaking and the self-awareness of this game. That's great. <laughs> it's like someone in the series playing the violin for you. Alright. Genuinely already stuck. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. The Chainsaw of Expectation it's called now. What? It's pretty rusty. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No, I know. No missing body parts. Maybe I meant to just take a photo of the corpse? Hmm, there's no film in the camera. Oh, because she has the film. Why does she have the film? <laughs> right, get over here. That's definitely something we can do, though, so that's progress. I, I am getting somewhere. It's a sample package of Polaroid idea. film. Uh, oh, I love carrying stuff. <laughs> Good, because you're going to carry everything. All right, so use Polaroid film in camera. Yes, we are smart. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Is that all I have to do? Dead ringer for the body. Oh. Oh, is that all I had to do was just take a photo? Just actually do my job as a policeman. God damn it. I feel so dumb. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Okay, can we have it? I love how in these games you just pick up everything. If it's not nailed down, you can just pick up everything. Can she join us? Yeah, okay. Walk to more highway. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Atari cartridge? Well, well, well. Ball Blaster from Mucus Flem Games. <laughs> Never heard of it. Okay, let's pick it up. I've got a feeling there's gonna be a lot of red herrings in this game. What was that? Yeah, look. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. I can't wait Pretty to meet good the clown. makeup though. I cannot wait to meet the clown. Yeah, 
All a lot of this is just red herring stuff, clearly. What is going on here? Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. <laughs> but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. <laughs> you almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Stop saying that. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! We some Mario Brothers, I guess. Why brothers if you're sisters? Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. <laughs> so we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. <laughs> Shut up, Emily. <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death, yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be say. very strong and disrupt the power grid. I don't know whether to believe you. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. It sure does. This game's amazing already and I've only just started playing it. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Boop. Oh, they're not blocking the way. I thought they were. Click, so, click, click. Let's open the click, van. Click, 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 click. No need. The perps are outside. Perps? Why are they perps? They haven't done anything yet. Okay. All right. Let's just carry on going. Ah, it's hold down to follow. Okay. Oh dear, they followed. That's the cemetery. Do we go to the cemetery? Why would we? But let's do it anyway. Okay. No, 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 no that's right. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just going to pick everything up just because I can. <laughs> okay. Wait up, eager beaver. Hmm. What was that? It looked like there was a camera watching us. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. That's true. You keep saying this. Okay. What does that say? Willie's watch and violin repair shop. <laughs> Prestige Realty is right the boot. <laughs> Howdy. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. Eh, that's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn, straight. Damn straight, we're the Feds. Whoa! Hold your horse, Arenos. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. 
Ignore him. He's new. <laughs> no sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? <laughs> I must admit, he was getting a bit annoying. It was like, I feel like he was ne talking to Ned Flanders. All right. Let's go. Open the door. Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. <laughs> Welcome to the future who! <laughs> it's the same as the sheriff. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Okay, tell, tell us about, us the, about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Okay, aren't you the sheriff Areno? Aren't you the sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds <laughs> to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Okay, um. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. And what do you mean, what's wrong with the Sheriff of Reno? There's a lot wrong with somebody keep saying that. I would punch them in the face. Okay. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. <laughs> oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. <laughs> I just love how self aware this guy is. I hate this town. <laughs> Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Okay, so raise to-do list. Find the murder weapon. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Get Fingertron report. Find ID for the victim in hotel. Get Facetron report. Take a blood swab from the body. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get Bloodtron report. Put three reports in a restaurant. Okay, seems simple. I'm gonna guess it's not. So, can we use the photo? That's the same. Dead ringer for the body. And oh. And this one. Uh, but we need another one, don't we? So we need the ID. Okay. 
What's two plus two? Yeah. Okay, I can't verify that one though. Square root of 67. Okay. It's the last digit of pi. No! No, what have I done? <laughs> Five. <laughs> oh no! Stop it. Okay. <laughs> we can be stuck there all day. Right, so we need another photo, so we need to add... We need to make sure that the corpse is the corpse. So, let's open and go speak to the Sheriff Arena. Oh, damn it, I'm saying it. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully, the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Arena computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. <laughs> You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. Uh, people say there is some <laughs> resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Uh. <laughs> you, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. <laughs> uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Yeah, who is Chuck? Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. The clown. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Okay. So. I want to kind of go to the hotel, I think. I love how there's a donut. Donuts, stereotypically. Police trans me down. What is this? It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Stop saying arena on the end of everything. Breaker one nine breaker breaker. <laughs> Is this thing on? Daisy, <laughs> Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, <laughs> all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. Hey, you cut some out. I shouldn't be using official county equipment. No, no you shouldn't. Can we use the phone? Can it doesn't have any buttons. <laughs> it doesn't Must have... be for incoming calls only. Okay, okay. Right, come on then. We're going to... The hotel. No, she has the key card. She's going to the hotel. Oh, I would have been so annoyed if I'd got all the way where with him. To find out that... Couldn't get in. Oh no, they're here. They're back. Uh. 
with every wrench. Really, no time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Then fix it. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Hmm. Pigeons need a WC-67 tube. Okay. Can we have their, um... Their wrench? Oh no, they've taken it, damn it. I want the wrench. I might need it. I have no room for it. It's a circus flyer. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup, though. Do you know what? I've screwed myself over. My inventory's full. There's no way to remove things. Oh, damn it. Okay. Safely first savings. That's a bank. Everything's closed down. Apart from the diner. Hmm. I'm just going to go exploring to see what's around before town outskirts. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Who's his boss? I kind of feel like Chuck may not be dead. But maybe I'm getting a bit too ahead of myself. Why is everything a machine? This isn't where the hotel is, is it? Is the hotel going to be behind um, where that, oh no, back street. Mm. P Petey's Pet Emporium, if it was closed down, Mickey's Cakes, phone, pay phone, hair today gone tomorrow, bunny salon, park arcade, I want to go in there in a bit. Fed's out now. We've really just arrived. Bus station. Okay. Talk to the lady of the evening. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the, Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. Oh. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... <laughs> I'm going for the last one. A hooker, like her sister? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... a video game developer. <laughs>